Yeah, actually, yesterday you asked something about literary Telugu. Okay, so in the textbooks we learn something, but those things mostly we use in the written language. But like sixty percent we use in spoken language also. But there are some certain words we use in the spoken language. But those those things uh, not mention it in the booklet because it is like a literary so they don't need to mention that one uh, so spoken always learn uh, you can learn from outside people only based on the conversation what we use okay. so whenever there is a context i explain so this is mostly used in written and this is mostly used in spoken like like i explained uh, you regarding the meanings of boy abai okay so abai babu are used in spoken telugu baludu is used in written telugu like that we discuss during our sessions okay so but those things not mentioned in any book this is it will come based on experience and based on our it depends on our even what we are following that time we can discuss okay so here we have uh, raghava rao amma garu so here raghava rao's mother so here apostrophe s is there so here nothing to change just raghav rao amma is like possessive pronoun her name veer peru anasuya her name is so here again if you look at here her her means ame or ame yokka or avida yokka for all these things uh, we can just use uh, here they are they want to give respect that's why they used differently that is they Deir means weary or worn. Okay, here they use deir. Okay. Next we have Raghava. And again, Raghava. That means he is calling Raghava. He is not telling him Raghava because it has long vowel sound. Itane varu. Who is he? Itadu plus evaru or itanu plus evaru becomes itane varu in the spoken language. Is he Venkat Rava? Okay, so again we have Venkat Rao is a name, but when we ask like a question, Venkat Rava, it becomes Venkat Rava. Like okay. similarly, is he Prasad? Can you try to translate? Is he Prasad? Ah, uh, you are in So I could say like. Prasada. Yes. Prasada, like that. Yeah. He, Prasada, like that. Correct. Uh, Venkatrao, Kadu, Nanaga. So, father is not Venkatrao. So, he is not means Atadu, Ven Atadu Kadu. He is not means Atadu Kadu. Venkatrao is in here. Sivaya okay. Gari Koduku. Mr. Sivaya son. So, again, if you look at here, Karu. Became Gari because it is possessive form. Okay. So if they want to give respect, they always use like Gari. Rama Rao Gari Tam. Rama Rao Brother. Like that. Okay? We don't say Garu when we are using possessive form. We must say Gari. Next we have Me Tata Gari Piremiti Babu. What is your grandfather's name? Again, we have Garu became Gari because possessive form. Grandfather means Tata Garu. Uh, here we have dear. So dear means Priyamaina. This is the true translation. Priyamaina. In the letters we say uh, dear sir. Priyamaina Ayya. Like that. But Ayya it is uh, meaning. But uh, the Word dear my dear means priyamaina, but here it can be used to call someone like hello dear. That means they the person who is listening he is a child, so we can translate as babu like that. But it is not necessary to use the true translation. Depending on the context whom we are talking, we can translate if if. If the listener is like a small baby, we can say Peremiti Papa, like that. Girl. Next, Gangadharam Garu, Mr. Gangadharam. 
Gangadharam. Alaga. Uh, this one we already discussed. I see. I see means Alaga. Are you Mr. Gangadharan's handsome? Nuvu. Gangadharam Gari. So here we are not giving respect to the prisoner, but we are giving respect to the to his uh, grandfather. So if you look at here, Nuvu, that is you, Mr. and uh, Apostle is here, so Gari. Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. Manavarari. Okay, here also. Mr. Sarath's granddaughter. Granddaughter means Manavaralu and Ni is the success. Manavaralini. I am grandmother. Mr. Sarath. Saradi means Saradi Gari. Next. Ravi Tandri Periyamiti. Amen. Okay. This one, can you read? Uh, these are all not required to explain. But you can read. Uh, all okay. the six. Ravi Tandri Periyamiti. Ravi Tandri Shivaya. Okay. Ame Manavadi Periyamiti. Okay. Ame Manavadi Peri Peru Sinu. Rabi Tandri Peru Shivaya. Okay, that's done. Yeah, okay. So, Aina Tata Gari Pen Emiti. Aina Tata Gari Peru Rao Garu. Yes. Okay. Suguna Tali Pen Emiti. Okay. Peru Sita. Uh, Suguna Gari Tali Peru Sita. Like that, you can see. Suguna. Gari, Gari, it is not necessary. Okay, so I'm not going to be Okay. Ame Kuruku Peremiti. Ah, Kuruk, so Ame Kuruku Peru Giri. Yes, correct. So uh, you can try, you can tell in the same way. Ni snehi to the Peremiti. Then answer also you can try. Nisnether pair Nisnethery pair emity. Okay. Snethery pair pero rabi. Ah, Ikada, the reply can be complete. Like, you know, Nas Nehi to the pair rabi. Like that. Okay. okay. Nas Nethery pair rabi. Okay. Kamala Yavari Bharia. Okay. Kamala. Kamala na snehutadi bharia. Oh, okay. No, no, here. Nehru. Yeah, Nehru. Here, this Kamala is... Nehru bharia. Yes, correct. Okay. Try this one. Uh, na snehutadi. Okay. This is the answer they have given. Okay. Uh, they already given one example, but the next example you can try. Ni snehutadi ali. Peremiti. Okay. Nas Neturali Peru Vijaya. Okay. Lata Yavari Manavaralu. Okay. Lata Ramaya Gari Manuralu. Yes. Manuralini, I think. No, 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 no. Just Manavaralu. Okay. Because you know that Manavaralini. If you are the granddaughter, you will say, but you are telling oh, someone, so no need exactly. to use any okay. service. Lata, Ramaya, Gari, Manavaradu. That's all. Okay. Okay. Next Viri Pere Miti, Viri Pero Harigaru. Okay, next one. Okay. Sarathi Garu. Every Tandri, okay. Sarathi Garu, uh, Ravi Tandri, yes. Vari Penemiti, Vari Peru, Giri Garu, okay. Suguna Every Bharia, Suguna Gopi Bharia, yes, okay. Nis Nethri Eremiti, okay. 
సరళ విమల తల్లి ఓకే then here there is something different they are given uh, sarala vimala talli okay vimala sarala em avutundi akada so okay, answer so vimala... in the next line okay see if you look at the next two lines talli. okay this is the answer okay but since this is example they have given the answer but for the next one onwards you need to think and write okay so this is the answer for this place kuturu okay vimala sarala kuturu okay so as i mentioned before uh, there are some differences like you know kuturu this kuturu mm, it is like 50% it can be used in written language it can be used in spoken also ame kuturu andi it's fine it's perfectly used in any version spoken or uh, written okay but there is okay. one more word most commonly used on the in spoken language instead of kuturu we say ammai vimala sarala gari ammai like that ammai means girl but it means it's a, it's like when we say gari ammai ma ammai ma bai sarala gari appai it, it it also indicates like kuturu like daughter okay but uh, that is the word we most commonly used in place of kuturu in the spoken language but kuturu also can be used not a problem okay next one please read this one then also try the answer okay okay susila ravu kuturu okay okay no. ravu susila uh think it so here we will so nana nana garu ha uh, rao sushila nana garu because we want to give respect to rao so rao sushila nana garu okay so mm. this is used in the spoken language nana garu okay but when we come to the written part here we can write instead of nana garu tanri tanri okay so tanri word mostly used in the written language okay nanagaru is used mostly in the spoken language okay so that you can remember okay um, let's go to the next one like this there are many examples we 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 can come uh, we can discuss during the first class second class third class textbooks i have already downloaded it if you want i will give you the copy so after completing this one if you want we'll continue that course there more activities will be there more uh, on the literature more exposure i do you have the copy of uh, telugu textbooks school textbooks uh, no i don't okay after ending the session uh, i will send it i i She downloaded it up to uh fourth class first class second class third class fourth class okay now uh, okay next let's see this one kamala gopi bharya okay answer can be no okay bharya kamala gopi bharya gopi kamala uh bharta bharta not uh, bharta. no no long word sound just no long word. bharta bharta okay so this is okay bharta bharya or used in written and spoken okay so next one narayana ravi tanri okay answer can ravi narayana koduku yes correct okay so as i mentioned before ravi narayana koduku this can be used in spoken language or written language but in other words 
if we want to use only spoken version, Ravi Narayana Gari Appai. Appai. Okay. Narayana Ravi Tandri. Okay. Narayana Ravi Tandri. Okay. Ravi Narayana Gari Abai. So Gari we can say to show respect. Abai is the word we can use in the spoken language instead of Koduku. Okay. But Koduku also can be used with it, uh, it, it equal status uh, as uh, like interchangeable. Okay, next one. Indira Motilal Manavaralu. Okay. Motilal uh, Indira Indira okay. Nanama. Oh, no, no, no. See here. Indira, oh, no, no. I'm oh, bad. Here. So uh, that's Indira Motilal Manavaralu. Motilal is male. Okay. So male, oh, male. like grandfather. Grandfather means Tata. And also, we can say Garu at the end to show respect. Motila, Indira, Tata, Garu, like that. Okay, that's the difference. So, Tata, Garu, it's okay. There is no other alternative like written and spoken. It's same in every uh, version, spoken or written. Okay. Next, we have this drill. Ravi, Chappu, Ravi, Garu, Chappandi. So, here... Uh, what's the difference? What they are asking here? Oh, uh, they want you to put it in the formal form. It looks like. Ah, uh, yes, yes. So Ravi Chapu, this is uh, like you know equal status. It's not honorific. Okay, Ravi Garu Chapandi. This is honorific. Okay, like that. Let's see the example. Suguna Chapu. Okay. Suguna Garu Chapandi. Yes. Is it okay? Is it the one? Vijaya Kurcho okay. Vijaya Garu Kurchondi. Yeah, now you are making like honorific version, like polite yes. conversation. Mohan Ra, this is just casual. Mm, hmm. It doesn't show any respect. Okay, now you can convert it to polite version. Mohan Garu Randi. Yes, perfect. Okay. Next. Okay, this is another variation. Atanu Ravi. So we need to change like this. Atane Ravi to emphasize. He is the he is the person who Ravi like that. It gives that kind of meaning. So you need to add a sound for each personal pronoun in the below given sentences. Okay, you can read the first one, then convert into oh. emphasized form. Varu Sharmagaru. Okay. Vare Sharmagaru. Yes. Okay. Viru Master Garu. Okay. Vire Master Garu. Okay. Idi ni gadi. Okay. Ide ni gadi. Okay. So next we have this is another variation. Like a question. Uh, Atana Subbarau. That means he is Subbarau. Atana Subbarawa means. Is he Subbarao? Like that. Okay. So, uh, we don't need to talk much about English. So, here we focus on the Telugu. So, in the example practice sentences, you can make like questions. Okay. You can continue. Varu me Nanagaru. When you Varu... say, uh, when, one minute. When you say Nanagaru, uh, second letter Na has worked too. So, you need to emphasize Nanagaru. Like that. Varu me Nana Garu. Okay, and uh, the other form, like question form. Varu me Nana Gara. Yes, okay. Next one. Ame Doctor. Okay. Ame Doctor A. Okay, yes. Idi na Sneheturali Lu. Okay. Question can be. Idi na Sneheturali La. Perfect. Okay, let's go to the next one. So here, ah, uh, Adi Tami, Dani Peru Tami. So here, uh, Adi Tami means that is Tami. Dani Peru Tami means its name. So that is subject. Okay, it's like 
personal pronoun it's okay yes. now similarly uh, depending on the subject what we are using you need to use the personal pronoun okay okay you can continue it's a nickname i think okay so here adi became dani so idi becomes okay you can try idi pussy dani peru pussy uh, here there is a problem uh, oh dini dini peru dini peru yes correct no correct. okay varu narayana okay vari peru narayana Mm, yeah, perfect. It's okay. Next one. Miru no, no. Rama Garu. Oh, Not Viru me. Viru Rama Garu. Okay. Viri Peru Rama Garu. Yes. So his name. Ah. Viru Peru means his name. So why we are using Viru? Uh, Viru means showing respect. They, they. So for that also we can use Viru to show respect. Actually, for uh, this one, we have another variation. Ayana also fine. Ayana, Narayana. Ayana Gari Peru, Narayana. Like that also we can say. So uh, instead of Ayana, we can also say Varu. Varu, Varu Narayana, Vari Peru Narayana. Viru Ramaya Garu, Viri Peru Ramaya Garu. Ramaya Garu, like that. So next we have here. Okay, you can continue reading. Nas Nehituru Ravi. Okay. Nas Nehituri Peru Ravi. Yeah, okay. So here, friend's name. Friend means Nehituru. Friends means Nehituri. Possessive form. Peru means name. Okay, let's continue and you can make in the same method. Nas Nehituralu Sukuna. Okay. Okay, so na snehitu rali peru suguna. Exactly. So here the difference is my friend is suguna. My friend's name is suguna. Like that. Okay. Okay. Five. Ayana manavar alu girija. So only here we need to change that one to possessive form and we need to add additional word pair. Okay, so Aina Aina Manavurali Peru Giricha. Exactly. Correct. Okay. Next one. Vari Manavura Manavadu Vinod Vari Manavadi Peru Vinod. Exactly. Perfect. So, Manavadu means grandson. Grandson means Manavadi. Yes. Okay. Uh, here we they, we have to convert in the other way. Opposite. Like previous. Okay. You can try. Yes. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Next one. Adi, okay. Adi yem pustakam. So answer can be Adi Telugu pustakam. So similarly, okay, you can continue. Adi yem peru. Okay. You can da, Dani peru Telugu. No, no, no. no, no. no. Here Adi, they, they, they are not using the possessive form, they are using direct form. So here they used Adi, so you can use Adi. Only this one should come here. Here, okay. So, Adi M Peru, Adi Telugu. Telugu Peru, you need to repeat. Peru. Oh, I need to say Peru as well, okay. <clears throat> Adi M Pustakam, Adi Kannada Pustakam. Perfect. Adi M Pustakam Adi Hindi Pustakam. Okay. So Adi here, they have given different. But I think there is a typo error, I feel. What do you think? Because I think I just need to put it as a question this time. Okay, yeah, you can try. Maybe. Adi Pustakam. So Adi Adi M Pustakam. Okay. Adi Adi M Pustakam. 
Yes. Yeah. Like that we can. Okay. Let's go to the next one. Okay. So here. Idi yavari yellow. Idi vari yellow. Okay. So here, uh, let's talk something about this one. So here, yavari. This is uh, for yavari. Answer is varu and varu. We have to make like possessive form. Varu means they. Their means vari. Okay. So similarly, okay. Try this one. Adi yavari kalam. Okay. Adi na snehituri kalam. Perfect. <laughs> Adi yavari kadi. Idi idi. Adi idi idi yavari kadi idi. Tata gari kadi. Idi tata gari kadi yes. Fine. Idi yavari illu. Idi ni sneeturali illu. Okay. Okay. Let's go to the next one. Uh, fill up the blanks with the correct form of the pronouns or nouns given in parentheses. Okay. So here you need to change this one to possessive form. Uh, possessive pronoun. Actually, they did not mention possessive pronoun. So can you try? So Atanu Peru Ravi. Atani Peru Ravi. Yes. Yeah, here they have given the example. So but for the next one we need to try. Okay. Di peru bantu. Can you hear me? Yeah. Dini peru bantu. Yeah, perfect. Uh, ye di peru. No, no. Uh, actually, ye di. When we ask like question, like uh, possessive, it becomes deni. Deni. Deni peru tami. Okay. Deni okay. peru tami. Okay. Try the next one. Deni peru tami. So. So. Miru peru vijaya to. Viva, uh, viri peru vijaya. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Let's go to the next one. So, Dani Peru Pussy. Yes, perfect. Okay, let's go to the next one. Vari Peru Ramaya. Okay, perfect. Yavari Peru Girija. Ah, perfect. Yavari Peru Girija. So, Yavari, Vari, all these are all possessive pronouns. Okay. Now, in the next one, Answer the following questions based on the text of the lesson. Okay, so Indira Yavari Kuturu. Actually, uh, this one I think we need to read the lesson and come back here, but we'll try. Uh, okay, uh, it's okay. This one we can skip because you know, if we go and come back, it will take more that you can do later. Okay, and if you have any doubts, you can ask because this okay. one. Uh, we need to read the text again. Yeah. The, the lesson part. Then we we need to answer. Uh, you can try later if you have doubts. You can ask. Let's jump to the next set. Okay. Answer the following questions. Avulu or Kadu. Okay. Let's try this one. Okay. Now you can read. The Kalama Avulu. The Kalama. Okay. Avulu. Okay. Next one. Yena doctor a kadu. Kadu, yes, correct. Because he looks like principal or teacher because he doesn't have status quo, so he's not. Idi kavita ma kadu. Yes, kadu. Because this is not, this is bag. Bag means. Sanchi. Yeah. Okay, next one. Yena master a. Uh, Kadu. Kadu, because he is doctor. Ita Iyana doctor. Kadu. Endu kante Iyana doctor. Endu kante means because. Okay, let's try the next one. Answer the following questions as shown in the models. Idi ni pustakam ha. Idi na pustakam kadu. So question is there. 
answer is there. Okay, let's try this one. Now you read Adi, this question and answer also. Adi Atani Gadi Yarama. Okay. Adi na Adi at so no pustak. Okay, so Adi Atani Gadi Aram Kadu. Yes, correct. Adi Atan Gadi Aram Kadu. This is no, it is not like next one. Ame teacher. Okay. Ame teacher Kadu. Perfect. I am a doctor. I am a doctor Kadu. Okay, perfect. Atanuni Snetura Atanuni Snetru Kal. Yes, perfect. Okay. So here what they are telling? Atanuni Snehitura. Then here they are telling Avunu Atanuna Snehit. So it can be like, yes, he is. That's the answer. Okay. So let's do the activity. Try this one. Adini Pustakama Aunu Adi Na Pustakam. Okay. Aina me nana gara. Okay. Aunu. Aina ma nana garu. Perfect. Okay. Idi me illa. Okay. Aunu. Idi ma ilu. Ma ilu. Ma ilu. Okay. Idi chapandu. Iena me master gara. Okay. Aunu Yena Ma Master Garu. Perfect. Okay. So here we have vocabulary words. Also, they have given meanings. Okay. But instead of this one, we'll make some sentences using each word. Okay. Papa. Okay. okay. Can you say any example? Papa, just add something. Papa, I will tell you one example, you add something else. Papa, come here. Papa Itra. Similar one. Can you try? Anything. Okay. Papa Adi Chadu. Perfect. Papa Adi Chadu. That means Papa. Read that. Okay. Okay. Photo. Photo means it's a photo we use as it is. Okay. But there are some true meanings, but people use photo only. Okay. Uh, I need your photo. Naku, oka photo kawal. You you tell me something else. You translate in your mind and tell me one sentence. Okay. Naku, oka photo ausram le. Okay. Yes. Naku photo ausram le. I don't need your photo. Yes. Perfect. Okay. Tandri. Tandri means uh, this is uh, as I mentioned before. Uh, this is used in the written language. Tandri word. So, in the spoken language, we use Nanagar. Okay. So, uh, his father's name is Rama Rao. You can say translation. Okay. So, Atani Tandri Peru Rama Rao. Perfect. Perfect. Yes. Uh, uh, actually, uh, when we say Atani Tandri Rama Rao, not necessarily use Garu. Okay. Rama Rao Garu. Not necessary. Because we are so because Tandri or we can say Atari Nanagari Peru Rama Rao. That's all. So that okay. Garu goes with the relationship. Or, or we can say Atari Tandri Gari Peru Rama Rao. So again Nanagaru Rama Rao Garu not necessary. So, this is the difference. Okay. Similarly, okay. Tali. Vari Tali Gari Peru. Yemi Ti. Nirchapan. So, Vari Tali Gari Peru Kamala. Perfect. Okay. Kuturu. Kuturu means daughter. Okay. So, let's make one sentence. What's his daughter's name? You can translate. Okay, so Vari Kutru Peru Vijaya. Yeah, perfect. Okay, it's okay. Vari Kutru Peru Vijaya. Perfect. Manavaralu. Okay. Uh, he has four 
granddaughters. Can you translate? Does Kuturu also have to change to Kuturi in the possessive form or no? It stays the same. Mm, when we say his daughter's name, Atadi Kuturi Peru. Kuturi Peru. Okay, it does change. It's the rule. That's uh, why. But when okay. we say when we say the spoken version, Atani Ammai Peru. So if you look at that Ammai, it ha it has already e sound. So nothing will change. When we say Kuturu, Kuturu becomes Kuturi as possessive form. So similarly, Manavaralu can be Manavarali in possessive form. Okay. But here we have discussed some other sentence. He has four granddaughters. Can you translate this sentence? Okay, so so Ainaki Ainako Yes Naluguru 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 Manavaralu Yeah uh, Manavara it has a plural Manavaralu because Lu is the uh, suffix for the plural but this Manavaralu word already has Lu. So, Lu plus Lu becomes Manavaralu, double L. Okay. Naluguru Manavaralu. Then, since this is plural, the ending conjugation will be Unnaru. Unnaru. If I say he has one granddaughter, the mm -hmm. sentence can be Atadiki, Oka, Manavaralu, Unnadi. Okay. Can you say Unnai? No, no, no. Ataniki no, you can't. Mana, ataniki Woka Manavaral Unadi or Ataniki Naluguru or Aiduguru or either if more than one. Manavaralu Unaru. Plural Varu Unaru like that it will. We'll continue in the next session. From the next. Okay. Okay. okay thank you for joining. Thank we'll you. Next.